to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to do a planner collection video and I'm going to give you just a quick overview of each planner that I use and how I use it. I'm going to have another video of a detailed flip through of each planner and also all of these planners right here are personal looks and I use them one by one so I don't use all of these planners at once but I will give you a quick overview. I'm also going to have another video of my setup kind of a before and after because I did update this area. Once those videos are up, I'll link them below. But if you want to see my current planner collection, stay tuned. Start off with these planners. These are from Hobby Lobby and the brand is 52 Agenda. Um, I don't use these as planners. I use them to hold old inserts, um, inserts that are waiting to be used. And they're pretty affordable. The A5 is about $45 regular price. And the personal size is about $25 regular, I believe. And they're usually on sale for 40 or 50% off. But I actually purchased both of these for $6 each on clearance. So there's one. This one is a black faux leather with white interior. This is a metallic gold leather with faux marble material. This is a white leather with gold script on the front and black and white striped interior. So now we're going to get into my personal Lux Motor. This one is the color burgundy and it's the pebbled leather. It has a silver hardware. It came with silver rings, but I switched it out for the rose gold and I love this color combo. Really pretty. We have a zipper, a side pocket, card slots, secretarial pocket, fly leaf with a pin loop, diagonal pocket, more pockets here, and then we have another pin loop here and a big back pocket. So that is the Burgundy Personal Luxe. This one is the Pebbled Lilac. Same thing with the zipper pocket, card slots, pocket here. I switched the rings out to the gold rings in this one. Card slots here, pocket, and then the big back pocket. And this one has the brown interior. So we're going to talk about differences really quickly. Um, both of these leathers are pebbled leather, but some of the leathers are more firm than others. So this one is a little bit more firm than this one. This is softer and floppier. And then compared to the burnt orange, and I'll get to that one, that one is a lot more firm. And I really like how that one feels. It's like it has a little bit extra padding in it. Also, there are two different types of Lux planners. There's a regular Lux and then a 2.0. And the difference is that there's a tab here covering the zipper on the 2.0. And then the 2.0 has the slanted pocket with no extra card slots. And then there's a difference in the layout of the card slots in the back. And then the regular Lux, the pin loop is pointing to the left and the 2.0, the pin loop is pointing outward. This next one is the pebbled pink. And I changed out the rings for the gold. And another thing I wanted to mention is that all of the planners come with silver rings, but I switched out most of mine. And for some reason with the gold and rose gold rings, they're not as sturdy as the silver and they usually have gaps in them. So it doesn't bother me because it doesn't damage any of my pages and I don't really notice a huge difference. But, um, that's something to keep in mind. The same setup here with the brown interior. Like I said, I changed the rings to the gold. And this is the regular, not the 2.0. It's beautiful. This one is kind of a nude pink. It has like a nude undertone. This next one is the pink croc. This was my very first mold term. And I ordered this one on Amazon. 
I changed it out for the rose gold rings. Here's a dark brown interior. And I remember when I ordered this one, I just couldn't believe how good the quality was. This one has like a salmon undertone. This one is the pebbled burnt orange. And this one kind of has a stiffener in it. And the leather is really soft, but it's a little bit more firm than the other pebbled leathers. I think this one has the most firm leather out of all of my pebbled leathers. And I love how it feels. The color is gorgeous. And this has the black interior. I put the gold rings in it. And it, this one is the 2.0. I really love this color. This one is the Pebbled Mustard. It's hard to capture the, the true color of this one. It's not as bright as it shows up on um, video or picture. Um, I put gold rings in this one. Black interior. This one is a 2.0. Back pocket. So this, yeah, this kind of has like a muted undertone. Um, it really reminds me of this one. It, it's, it's like a bright color, but it still has that kind of neutral undertone. This one is the Pebbled Olive. And I ordered this one on their AliExpress website. I still have a charm on there. I put gold rings in this one. It has the black interior. This one is the Pebbled Teal. And for all of my personal Lux planners, I use them as my everyday carry. So it has my kids' information, my work information, my finance, personal. Everything is inside of my personal Lux. And I just switch out the cover and the dashboard weekly. This one, I kept the silver rings in it. It looks beautiful with that teal color against the silver. And this one I bought on their AliExpress website. This one is the Pebbled Gray. And I think at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys um, where I purchased each one. This one is the Gray Crop. And I put the rose gold rings in it. This one is the regular Lux. The brown interior. Back pocket. And this one has a little bit of a shine to it. And this one is the newer gray croc. I ordered a pocket size gray croc from Amazon and it had a bluish undertone to it. And the feel of the leather was a little bit different. So this one is the newer croc. This is the black croc. And this is um, another one of my favorites. The coating on this one is more of a matte texture. And I put the gold rings in this one. I love this. Black with the gold. Brown interior. Same layout. This one is... This one is a regular Lux. And I cut off the pin loop on this one. This one is beautiful. This is the white croc. This one also is matte. I put rose gold rings in this one. Brown interior. The back pocket fly leaf. This one is beautiful too. I was afraid that this one was gonna be cream, but um it's it's a pretty white, a pretty true white. So this last um, personal Lux Moterm is the one I'm using right now, and this is the Pebble Taupe. Uh, with this leather, it's it's really soft, but it's it's almost sticky. Like I don't know how to describe it, and it doesn't bother me. But um, 
Yeah, it's a different texture from all the other pe pebble leathers. So this is how I have it set up right now. Pockets, back pocket, and I keep a thick piece of cardstock cut down in here, and that helps thicken it. And then a folded up piece of paper. quickly let me show you guys my labels so like I said this is my main planner my everyday carry and I have my inbox in here my family information personal finance work calendar I have my self-care tracker home tracker um, date nights and family days and then I have my monthlies and I use daily inserts I have my yearly layout um, I have event planning back here so everything is in here This next planner is my Cat Espresso Clear Cover, and it's in the pocket size. I have pocket XL inserts in here, so it does fit pocket or pocket XL inserts. And this one has pockets in the front and back. It has the gold rings. And right now, this planner I'm using as a journal. My next planner is a Kate Spade planner. So I took off the zipper and the rings, and then I have a B6 Dally G in here. I use this one for it is to practice calligraphy. And I love the way that the Tombow brush pins feel and look on this paper. This one is a Chic Sparrow A5 notebook, traveler's notebook. And I'll do a detailed flip through later on of this one, but this one I use as a journal prompt. So this one I don't plan on using daily and probably not even weekly sometimes, just whenever I have some extra free time. I plan on using this one. This is the Mr. Darcy leather in the darker tone. She has three different colors, like a light brown, dark brown, and black. I'm not sure if she has other colors, but those are the ones I remember. And this is the dark brown leather. And I use this as my daily devotional. And this one has a back pocket too. And I switched it out for the gold rings. And this one has a fly leaf as well with the pin loop. The size comparison. This is the same leather, A5 Personal Luxe. And this last planner is my A5 Moterm. And this is the white croc. This one's so pretty. There's just something about this white in the A5 size. Big back pocket. And this is the regular Lux. The other one was a 2.0 Lux. Another size comparison. A5 versus personal Lux. So now I'm going to do a quick comparison of similar colors. This is the burnt orange and mustard. Like I said, this is still not showing up true to color, but it's a little bit more muted than it's showing. The pink mold terms. This is the pink croc and pink pebbled. This is more of a neutral undertone. This has a peachy salmon undertone. The gray leathers, gray pebbled and gray croc. This one definitely has a warm undertone. It's kind of close to the taupe color. And this one is neutral. 
Let me show you these three. So the first one, the first one is the pebble taupe. Second one is the pebble gray. Third one is the gray croc. Browns, burnt orange, pebble taupe. It barely looks brown against that burnt orange. In here we have the pebble taupe and the pebble pink. And they have similar undertones. Some jewel tones, the burgundy and teal. Um, I'll show the difference in the croc leathers. This one is definitely more shiny and this one's matte. Before I finish up, I'll let you guys know where I ordered each planner from. There are three ways to order Motown planners. They're direct website their aliexpress shop and then their amazon shop this one i ordered from the aliexpress shop amazon 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 aliexpress aliexpress on on all of those and that one amazon amazon for the rest of those <laughs> and then these two i ordered from amazon Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification for alerts whenever I post a new video. Like this video, comment below, and share it with a friend. I hope you all have a blessed day.